subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to be notified as soon as I post a new video. Welcome back to Slick and Natty. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can reuse your old sarees which are of no use to you any longer either because these have gone torn from somewhere or because you've simply got bored of these or because you want something more convenient and more comfortable to wear. So I'm going to show you how you can make a kaftan kurti from a sari. This kind of kurti looks very stylish when paired with leggings or pencil pants or trousers and at the same time these are very easy to make and can be literally made in 10 minutes. So let's start. So this is my mom-in-law's old sari which she no longer wears and this I'll be using today to make a kaftan. Now this is the border of the sari but I don't want the entire border to be there on my kaftan kurti. I want it only till here that is top two layers as you can see in this picture of the kaftan that I made. So I will cut the sari below this line leaving a margin of about one and a half inch for hemming. I'm discarding this lower part of the border so the kurti will be till here and this lower extra part as I said before will be used for hemming. Okay next we have to determine how long we want our kurti to be. For example you want it to end below your knees then take a measuring tape and measure the length from your shoulders till the point where you want the kurti to end. For example in my case I want it to be 38 inches long. So now I will place a measuring tape on this line which is going to be the lower border of my kurti and mark a point which is 38 inches above it. Mark a few more points like this and then join these points to draw a line. So this is the line that we just drew and from here till this line this is going to be the front side of our kurti. Now let's mark the back side of the kurti. Now here is the line that we had just marked. I'll place my measuring tape on this line and mark a point which is at a distance of 39 and a half inches from it. 38 inches for the length of the back of the kurti and one and a half inches for hemming. Mark a few more points like this and then join these points to draw a line just like we had done before. So here is this line and now we will cut along this. We'll keep aside the rest of the sari and I'll show you in my later videos what you can make with this but for now we'll be using only this part of the sari for making the kurti. So first up I'll fold it into half like this and I'll place a few all pins here and there to join the upper and the lower layer so that they don't get displaced when we work on these. Next we have to make the neck of the kurti for this I'll rotate the sari piece like this so that it is visible better to you. Now I am going to take a measuring tape and mark the center point of the top edge. Now from the center point mark a point on either side at a distance of 3 inches from it. This will be the width of your neck. You can vary this depending on how wide you want your neck to be. Join these two side points with a slightly curved line like this and then cut along this line. So your basic neck hair is ready but I want to make the neck in the front a little deeper. So I am here drawing a V neck with a depth of 5 inches. You can vary the shape and the depth of the neck depending on your preference and depending on what you normally wear. Next cut along this neckline that we just marked and make sure that you cut only the front layer of kurti and not the back layer as well because we want the deep neck only on the front side and not the back side. So the neck of the kurti is now ready deep in the front and shallow on the back. This was the only cutting that was required to make kaftan kurti and now all we have to do is to give straight stitches on the front side of the kurti. For this take one of your well fitting kurtis and place it on the sari piece such that its center matches with the center of the neck that you just made. Now take a measuring tape and mark a point which is 10 inches below the top edge on either side of this kurti. So here are the two points that we just marked and this will become the armhole of the kaftan. After marking the armholes, we'll mark the slits of the kurti. For this, we will mark a point which is 10 inches above the lower edge of the sari piece on both the sides of the kurti. 
so here are the two points that we just marked and this will become the slits of our kaftan kurti now between this upper and the lower points that you marked draw a line parallel to the boundary of your kurti but at a distance of 2 inches away from it because the kaftan kurtis tend to be a little loose as compared to other kurtis and draw this line on the other side as well so now you can remove this upper kurti and next all that we have to do is to stitch on these lines that we just drew in the middle of the two points this will be a simple straight stitch which you can do either using thread and needle like i am doing here or you can even use a sewing machine if you have one and remember that you have to stitch on the front side or the right side of the kurti you don't have to turn it inside out to do the stitching so here i have stitched on these lines as you can see here and your basic kaftan kurti is ready now all you have to do is to hem on the lower edge of the kurti for this fold the lower edge inside by about half an inch like this and then fold it one more time again by about half an inch and then simply give a straight stitch over it like i have done here and for finishing the neck you can either fold it inside and hem it like this what i have here done is i have taken a 1 inch wide black velvet lace and i have folded it over the neck line like this and put it in place with the help of all pins and then simply given a straight stitch over it like you can see here and your neck is all ready i hope that you found this video useful do subscribe to my channel for more such videos and connect with me on my instagram facebook and twitter accounts thank you so much for watching see you guys next time bye